Hi, I'm Tanya from Create Studios. So today we're going to take this tray that was purchased at a dollar store. It's very lightweight, but it's going to work great. And we're going to turn it into an elegant chalkboard. And so what we could do is just go out and buy us some chalkboard paint, which is about $8 for a can. And sometimes you can find it on sale. And we could mask off with some masking tape the border around here and spray paint it. That's one thing we can do. Um, since I have some of these supplies on hand already, I'm going to try to make my own chalkboard paint. And so you're going to need some unsanded grout and just some acrylic paint or latex paint. And the mixture is three-fourths paint to one tablespoon of grout. So I'm going to be making a much smaller amount. That would be if I'm painting you know, a large space on a wall. I'm going to make a much smaller amount, so I'm just going to add just a hair of grout into my paint. I have a small um, bottle of craft paint, and it's only two fluid ounces, so I, it wouldn't even take much if I use this whole container, which I don't even have the whole container. I have half the container, so I'm just going to use a smidge of unsanded grout. Now, the unsanded grout can be in any color. The color I have is a dark gray. I've been using it for glass mosaics, and it has to be unsanded grout. You don't want sanded grout. And the unsanded grout is in the hardware store in the same section that the sanded grout is in. You just have to look for it and make sure it has unsanded. This is the size of a box I have, and I'm just going to use a smidge of a uh, tablespoon to mix my paint. So let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm going to take my paint and I'm going to water it down a good bit. And I'm just using a small amount in my brush, I mean in my spoon if you can see that. And this is what allows the chalk to stick to the chalk board, is this grout. So using this method, you could actually mix up any color chalkboard you would like. Alrighty. You can put chalk on little mason jars if you plan on doing some gifts in a jar, you know, like cookie recipes. And you could tape it off if you wanted to, but I think I'm going to be able to be pretty neat about it. Also, one thing to keep in mind is when you do this is you're going to have to prime your surface after you finish or your chalk is not going to um, wash off very good. So with this done, after we paint our chalkboard, you're going to be able to use this. You could hang it on the wall, and since this one is this is very lightweight, so I would probably Velcro this to the wall. You don't really have any hooks to hang it with, and it really doesn't have that much weight to support itself um, when you write on it. If you just you know tried to nail it to the wall, so I think Velcroing it will be the best way to go. You can use this in your office. You can use this in your kids' room. You can use this to kind of announce what the dinner is going to be tonight. You can use it as a message board. It's a really nice, elegant little, little gift that you can give somebody. And you can do it on a much smaller scale. But I saw this platter and I thought this one might be a pretty cool gift. This would also look really good at a wedding reception. You could put this at the front desk and have the bride's, bride and groom's names written on it. You could put it in a classroom if you're a teacher. You can put it in your bathroom to remind you what pills you need to take in the morning, all kind of neat things. Now I'm going to let this coat dry and then I'm going to come back when it dries with the second coat. Okay, now that our chalkboard is dry, you need to get some 220 grit sandpaper. I have some of this little, um, little pieces of sandpaper that you might have seen in the dollar store. Um, and you're just going to sand it real lightly. And this is called priming your chalkboard. Another thing you can do is if you don't if you don't have any sandpaper, you can take a piece of chalk and just cover the whole thing um, horizontally and then up and down, and then wipe it with a clean cloth, a wet a wet cloth. I mean, and that should um, prime it as well. 
This is usually the one I see mentioned more often. Now I'd probably put a ribbon around the edge here just to clean it up, tie a ribbon across the back, and then you could hang it up that way. And now you see it's ready for you to give as a gift. And this was a quick and easy project. And it only cost me a dollar for the tray and the other supplies I already had. Remember, grout, unsanded, and paint and that's it. You can make your chalkboard any color you want using this formula. Remember it's three-fourths of a cup of paint to one tablespoon of grout. So if you're using a smaller amount, which I just use half of a bottle of paint, which was one fluid ounce, I just use a tad of a teaspoon. And mix it up and as you can see it creates a nice little chalkboard without having to spend eight to ten bucks on the spray paint paint. And there you go.